I think we're ready to add some more functionality to our website now. So let's start by putting some more tests in. And for the new functionality that we're going to do is we're going to, instead of being able to show every user, we want to show a specific user. So we're going to add some new tests individually. And what we're going to do in there is uh, before we run the test, we, what we want to do is we want to go to the website for that particular user path. And so we say user path um, as opposed to user's path, which we had down here. And we need to tell it which user we're going to visit. So let's give it a uh, user. And that means we need to create a user. So let's create our variable here. And we're going to use our, our let and user. And here's where we can reuse uh, factory girl here nicely. And we're going to create a user, have factory girl create a user for us. And then we're going to visit that particular user's web page. And when we do that, what we're going to expect is that it, the page that we visit, uh, it should have content that includes the username, and it should have content that includes the user email. And let's just be proactive here and make sure that it should not have the content for that user's password. That would be really bad idea, right? We don't want to display the user password. So there we go. Um, right now our, our users are, are pretty simple and so that's all we need to test. If we had a more complicated say a profile page you might want to check that you have a spot for a picture for them to upload. Um, if you're on you know Twitter they're gonna check that the tweets that people have directed to you show up on on this page if you're an email site it's gonna make sure that you know you can see the emails that you receive maybe or so who knows but right now all we have is this information so we make sure the right stuff shows up and the other stuff doesn't so let, um, let's uh, make sure that that works um, just a uh, note, we expect this one to automatically pass since we haven't uh, <laughs> displayed any password anywhere. But uh, it's, it's good to have it in there as a safety precaution that we don't accidentally put it in there. So let's double run, uh, double check by running our test suite. And what we're going to expect is that we have three new tests and those new tests fail and actually they're gonna to fail uh, even this one's gonna fail temporarily right now because all three of them are gonna have trouble visiting this user path and there we go we see those three failures so we're ready to do the development that we want